Hey Titans, this is Mickett. A very exciting win of Titans over Golden Boys 1. Uh, we were the ones who won though. Uh, basically, we had a lot of attacks used. We did really well. They also had a lot of attacks. We left some on the table and didn't use some. However, for the most part, we, we had good across the board participation. Taking a, a quick look at how it all kind of turned out. We didn't basically attack, attack their top people because they were pretty stacked there, but we did a great job of clearing out a lot of the lower guys there. And uh, one of the things that really happened early on in this war is we, is we did a really good job of clearing out some of the 20s and the high teens, which really allowed uh, some of our higher ups and, and others as well to be able to refocus how they could be able to uh, maximize their stars as well, rather than having to reach down too much. Uh, for the most part, a very exciting win though. I'm gonna go through a few things here. Let's take a look quickly at uh, what really got it for us, these three stars. We had 28 three stars to their 20. Uh, did a pretty good job. We had some exciting attacks. I'm gonna hit a bunch here, but uh, one of the things that's probably worth seeing though is the war events was really what put us over the end, if you, over the edge at the end. If you take a look at this, from about 10 or nine minutes on, you can see that we're down by a couple. And uh, starting there about uh, Brad and Kyle, and Kyle picks up a, a, a star, and Zandu Bamboo, Gizmo, uh, and then look at that, they, they attack um, us, and they really aren't picking up stars. They get that one against KA right there, and but they really don't get any other stars. And uh, Jay picks up a couple, I pick up, up a couple at the end, and it puts us over by one point. So I just want to say, it wasn't just the two attacks that we had in the last minute, we had a lot of attacks that really led up to that, did a great job. Some people, uh, Xanadu, Bamboo, Gizmo, Kyle, really went for people they could really get that one star on. I just want to show you how important it is that you do that. You get those rather than just reaching up to somebody who has three stars available that you, you might or might not get one on. So, uh, good job by all. I, I want to highlight a couple here. One I want to highlight here was this was a, a key one, I think, here with Iron Gut right there at the end. A great defend against their number four, I believe, and uh, did a great job. I'm just going to kind of go through this. You can see that um, he starts to get the uh, troops involved very early on here, but he doesn't get them out very well, and he has to keep throwing down those hogs. He's got a limited number, uh, limited supply of those that he can use. He's got them all out of there, and he's going to try and do this. Now, a perennial problem that people have with Iron Gut is he, the way he has his buildings out there, because at Town Hall 9 you have a lot of buildings, he has his buildings so far out there, it's so hard to get your guys around them in a semicircle, and so they always have trouble with them but he does a pretty decent job with that brings in the hogs here and i'll just let you kind of see how this goes here they spread out a little bit too much for the liking of anybody who would want to keep them healed so you got to keep them in the center of those heal spells he has two rage spells which is probably a bit of a no-no if you're going to go with uh, hogs it's not preferred because the hogs die pretty quickly you run into some bombs, they get across there. The rage makes them go more quickly for sure, but then when, at the end of it, they've gotten rid of a lot of things, but they're dead. The heal spells tend to work better. Sometimes I go into one rage spell. I'm almost always sorry I did. I, those, uh, having four heal spells definitely helps out. And you can see he came up short on that, which really puts him in a bind here of how he's going to get in there. He pulls out his golems. He pulls out a uh, P.E.K.K.A., I believe here. Where is a P.E.K.K.A.? Maybe I miss... Anyways, he pulls out his heroes. In, uh, there's there's the Pekka over there. He's wandering around with the, the hero. And there's another one he brings in there. And they can't, they just can't get into the middle fast enough, especially because Pekkas are, they'll go after everything. They don't just go after where you would want them to go. The Golems will go right to the defensive guys. You know where they're headed, but the Pekkas are just going to follow right around. And that's going to be a problem for him because he's already picked up the one star. What he wants is that two star. But he isn't able to get any of the guys in towards the middle. And this is going to be a, a big uh, boon for us. Iron Gut has a nice layout that makes them want to go the different directions. Certainly it can be compensated for, but it's very difficult to do. And uh, Iron Gut has a good defense. And I'm going to kind of speed through here because I'm going to highlight a few other things as well. Basically he ends up only getting the one star. And you need to get at least two to be able to pull off the win by their number four. Those guys are wandering around the edges, and right now the guy is just gnashing his teeth because he's like, come on, go to the middle. But they wouldn't do it. So good hold by Iron Gut. So I'm going to go through a few other highlights here as well. So let's get into some of these. First of all, the best attack. You know, Al uh, goes in with a stomp and fry, 
and he is really good at these and I think this is just a great example for all those who are aspiring to uh, do stomp and fries or would like to find out more about it. It's great once you get your hogs at a high enough level that you can be able to uh, um, handle uh, this sort of base. Uh, he first draws out all the guys here. Uh, you know, one thing about Al is that he is, uh, I think, our, our top-ranked level 8 the town hall. Um, he's really been very patient on upgrading. He gets everything upgraded before he goes to the next level, and that's really uh, served him well and done very well for the clan as well. Drops down that king really quick there just to be able to stay right in front of his uh, patented uh, uh, 8 uh, wizard attack there, and he brings in these hogs. He's already brought the clan castle troops out. He drops that heal spell, an important thing to do with a stomp and fry. Uh, stomp being the uh, the hogs and the fry being the dragons, of course. You've got to take out those ADs. Now, an important thing you've got to do is you can't take your eyes off of your hogs. Otherwise, they will die very quickly. They are very powerful, but you've got to use those heal spells. Uh, he actually opts not to use one here because he knows he has uh, an ace in the hole. He has uh, another set of, of five um, uh, level four or five uh, hogs in the bag there, so he decides not to use his heal right now. Those guys are doing a little damage, but he really doesn't have that much left to uh, take out here. He is going to drop that in a little bit, but just uh, doesn't need to do it right now. They turn on their attackers, and they get rid of those. Uh, he brings those dragons around the top side. They're, they're going to do ring around the rosy, but he's got plenty of time to be able to get to those, especially because some of those hogs are still alive. He's in good shape. Now, one of the things he's going to do, I probably would have dropped my heal spell by now, because I, and I probably would have dropped it earlier. He waits on it. Why does he drop his heal spell here? Well, he needs those guys at full health because they're going around the outside of the base and who knows what sort of bombs or other things there might be out there. He wants them to be all set and ready to go against that Barbarian King. He had it left there because he was patient with it. Uh, does a good job. They turn on that King. Look, look how quickly he goes. He's been at level 7. Doesn't have a chance to do much damage. Takes out maybe one hog there and then they, I'm just going to speed it up a little bit because this is, this is all but done. They jump right back into the middle there. He finishes up. Great job by Al, one of our top attackers. You can always count on him. This was a number 16 on a 15, if I recall. Next, I want to go to what I'd say would be the, feature, the featured defense. Um, I think I had to go with this guy simply because uh, his name was Denial. Well, that seemed very appropriate for this guy. I, I can't remember. I think this might be a 7 on 18. Uh, I may have that wrong, but it's a it's a higher level, and it's on uh, Rampage, and Rampage has a pretty good defense here. Now, look, this guy spends the time to take out the king here, which is not probably the advisable thing. You want to get that clan castle out there. You can almost ignore that king. So he's going to start bringing these in. What his plan is, he's going to come in eventually with hogs, just like Al did a few minutes ago. Yeah, but he, he actually has even more of them. He's going to bring them in. These are also level 4 hogs, so they can survive pretty well if you take care of them. But what he doesn't take care of is he doesn't get those clan castle troops out. You're like, well, finally he gets those guys out here, right? And they're taking care of him. And what he doesn't realize, he doesn't have them all out yet. And so he brings the, the dragon out here to try and do some damage. They take a big bite out of the dragon there, and then he's about to run into a seeking mine. There it is, and he's in trouble now. So he's got those, and he's thinking, well, at least I got the clan castle troops out there. He probably needs to send in his king or do something to get rid of them. He doesn't do that. He brings in the hogs. They split up. Half of them run into a giant bomb. He doesn't put down his heal spell. Instead, he puts down the rage spell, which is a, uh, not something you want to go with because uh, they will die quickly. And you see the clan castle troops, even through a heal spell, even before he gets to that, they just make uh, mince meat of his hogs or mince bacon or whatever the case may be. At this point, he's desperate. He's trying to think about how can I salvage this and at least get one star and get the bonus off it and get our team a star. He's not going to be able to pull this off. He tries to put the heal that spell down. Not a good idea. He should have waited on that until he engages these uh, um, the wizards. The wizards, he gets outside of that heal spell area. The wizards do a lot of damage on him. There's not much left of him. He's going to keep wandering around. Heal spell's done now, and there's not much left. Queen is relatively protected back there, but there's there's still a lot of percent. You're gonna, is she going to get it with the queen? Or is he going to get it with the queen? I don't know. Is she going to get it? No, she's not going to get it. She's going to get taken down very quickly. She's very strong on offense, not very strong on defense. He's already used her special ability. And that last barbarian is not going to be the one that takes the three stars. So a very good denial on, on denial by uh, Rampage. Good job. Make sure to like us and to uh, subscribe. Uh, good job. Go Titans. It's a wonderful, wonderful win for us. Very exciting right down there at the end. Go Titans.